Greetings, Lafayette family and Facebook friends. My daily message for Tuesday, May 26th. And I remind you that daily messages, Sunday worship, sacred music, and other content are available at FountainChurchTallahassee.org. My scripture for today is Psalm 122, verse 1. I was glad when they said unto me, Let us go into the house of the Lord. This is the word of the Lord. I'm standing in front of our beautiful fountain, and I'm standing right next to noisy Mayhem Drive. And there's a reason and a purpose. I know it's <clears throat> going to be hard to be heard, but it illustrates the discussion we've had about reopening. We're very obsessed with when can we reopen, when can we get back together. And that's for good purpose because we love the fellowship of our brothers and sisters in Christ. But one denomination is encouraging its churches not to reopen until January 2021. Now it's not our denomination, but one denomination has a rationale for not opening until January 2021. What they said is, we're focusing so much energy on, can we open now? Can we open now? Can we open now? That we're failing to take advantage of the opportunities God has given us. This is a new reality. And instead of using it to teach us good lessons about how to reach people in Jesus Christ, we're just trying to wait it out so we can go back to the old ways. Well, this denomination told its member churches, listen, we've been declining in membership and in churches for decades. Whatever we were doing, we weren't doing everything right. And here, all the cars driving by on Mayhem Drive and all the new houses being built, how are we doing? Well, we haven't done a very good job of attracting them, but it's not just us, it's churches in general. So, even though we cherish the fellowship aspect and the intimate worship aspect of the way things were, isn't it time to invest some energy in how do we reach our friends and neighbors? How do we witness in this new reality? How do we be a church? How are we together as a church family, even when we cannot be together? And how can we bring living water to bear in our lives today? These are good questions for us to ponder and consider. Let us pray. Lord, we will be glad when we're called once again into your house. But while we're waiting, can we use this time to develop a burst of spiritual energy to witness, to share, to grow, that we might be ambassadors for your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ.